Hello everyone, so today what we're going to do is show you how to access SharePoint through the web. In particular, I want to make sure we know how to do this using our iPad through Safari in iOS 6. So I know most of us are still in iOS 6. Um, you can do this also with iOS 7, it's the same thing, but I figured since everybody is still on iOS 6, I'll show it that way. So our learning objective. Our goal is to know how to access SharePoint through your iPad know how to navigate through SharePoint, know how to post news feeds, know how to access files. And um, again, I want to review why do we use SharePoint? Why, why are we moving in this direction? Well, the nice thing about SharePoint, um, just like it does with Edmodo, you can do information delivery. Um, and it has social features where you can actually communicate with each other through, this, through the site using news feeds. You have activity feeds, you have community sites, and so you can actually group people just like you do with Edmodo. Um, and the nice extra features is that, though we haven't figured out how to do this yet, we can do wikis on there, you can uh, do publishing sites, and the organizing of content, the files and folder structure, is a little bit more sophisticated with SharePoint than it is with Edmodo. So I know a lot of you like Edmodo, but we want to make sure um, um, over time we're going to be moving towards this direction. I still say Edmodo is a good place to to do a lot of your beginning work, but when it comes to um, finalized documents, this is a good place to put it, just because of the organizing feature. So let's move and show you how to do that with the iPad. So to do this, I have a program called Reflector that I have on the Mac. And what it does, it allows me to then see my iPad. So let me go on to there. Let me bring the iPad onto the screen. So this is, of course, what you see. And let me log in. So I go to Safari. And again, we want to just go to the Oceanside Unified School District webpage. We click on the Outlook login, 365 login. And of course, we click on the HTTP Microsoft login. And I'm going to use a different account. So I'm going to click on a different account. And this time I'm going to use a district provided profile test at oside.us and put in my password. So when I sign in, I get this look. And of course, I tell them, of course, I got it. And all I need to do is say, well, what happened to my other stuff. And it turns out that um, it immediately goes to Outlook. I don't like this about it, but it does. And so what you want to do is you go to the three dots down here on the corner. By clicking on the three dots, then you see the Go To button. So this is how we can then navigate out of Office 365, uh, the Outlook. And if you click on your Office 365 button, it gives you the options to see your newsfeed, the SkyDrive, and the sites. And because I want to see the SharePoint sites, I'm going to click on Sites. So it doesn't say SharePoint, it says Sites. So just keep that in mind. So I have a site over here now um, that's called Another Test. That is a, just a test site that I'm using for this demonstration video. And if I click on that, you can see that it goes to the Another Test Home SharePoint site. Of course, it's a little slow. And of course, it looks like it's done. So now I'm just going to refresh the screen. So I'm going to click this button right here so I can refresh. And for some reason, sometimes the first time it doesn't show. But as long as you refresh the screen, it will show the entire site. So to add a, start a conversation, you can type in the news feed. This site is different because this is all new different and new. Can't wait to learn more. So I'll post that in there. Um, a lot of things you can do with the sites. You can always change styles and all that, but I'll save that for another video. So to access the documents, what you want to do is click on where it says documents. So I click on that. And Again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure what's going on here, but 
click on enough times and it does work. You can see that the, I have some recipe documents that I uploaded here just for fun. There's a grilled sea bass recipe. Um, and there it is right there. But the idea is that you can actually put files in there, you can put folders, you can organize content, and we can show you how to do all that, um, how to add those contents later from the desktop. But I just wanted to show you how to access it through, um, through your iPad. And of course you can see up here, you can access your Outlook, your calendar, your newsfeed, and even your SkyDrive. And I'll, I'll do another lesson on SkyDrive at another time. So if you have any questions, again, feel free to call me. Uh, my extension is 7842 in the district. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.